Dog cognitive science has come a long way over the past two decades. Research has been looking at dogs and their behaviors for many years. In this video, we will delve into canine science and tell you why dogs tilt their head, why they cry, and why they are so indecisive, persistently asking to go out and come back in again. Why dogs tilt their heads when you talk to them? One of the more endearing things dogs do is to tilt their heads when they listen to you. We humans think it's cute, but why do dogs do it? Scientists have finally discovered why our best friends tilt their heads when we talk to them. A new study published in the journal Animal Cognition found that dogs tilt their head when they process something meaningful or when they expect to be told something important. The adorable gesture is a signal that the dog is intently listening. Head tilts are related to increased attention. Your dog is trying to concentrate and pay more attention to messages from its human companions. As part of the study, the researchers observed 40 dogs during object label knowledge tests and analyzed head tilts while listening to humans. The scientists found that there was a strong correlation between head tilting and following complex verbal commands. The results of this study indicate head tilting is associated with processing information and showing concentration. Interestingly enough, the animals even had a favored side when tilting their head, just like humans favor their left or right hand. Dogs also have a favorite paw and even a favorite nostril. For example, most dogs are right-handed when it comes to reaching for food, walking downstairs, or retrieving toys. Tilting the head is yet another asymmetrical movement in dogs. So, when your dog looks at you attentively while tilting their heads, they are probably trying to absorb every word. Why are dogs so indecisive, persistently asking to go out and come back in again? If you have a yard, you may have wondered why your dog wants to go out and then a minute later is standing in front of the door and suddenly wants to come back in. Dogs are curious and want to know what is happening in their territory at all times. In the wild, there are simply no doors that constantly block their way. Your dog may want to go out for a change of pace, to go to the bathroom, or check whether everything is still in order and no intruders are hanging around in their area. Dogs want to come in because they miss you, they are not comfortable with the weather, or they want to check what you are doing. Dogs can be indecisive animals as well. He may need to go out, feel he is done with his business, and want to come back in, only to realize he is bored inside and wants to go back out. He may be out, and while the yard is fun, he may miss you and want to come back in. Remember, if you are not spending quality time with your dog, exercising, training, and petting them, they may simply be asking to go in and out to entertain themselves and have something to do. Why Dogs Cry Whining is one of many forms of canine vocal communication. The most common reason your dog may be whining is that they need or want something from you, like some food or going out for a walk. Maybe their favorite toy is stuck underneath the couch, or they want you to open a door for them. Sometimes dogs whine just because they are bored and no one is paying attention to them. Your dog wants someone to play with or something to occupy them. Make sure you're giving your dog enough exercise and mental stimulation each day. Whining can also be your dog's way of saying they are anxious or scared. If your dog is also pacing, panting, or trembling while whining, they are likely fearful or anxious about something. Perhaps they are in an unfamiliar environment, or perhaps they are worried because a family member is missing. Separation anxiety is another serious condition that can lead to crying. Dogs with separation anxiety who are left alone will sometimes spend their entire days barking and or whining. Finally, whining could be an indication that your dog is in pain or some kind of physical distress. If they whine every time they try to go up the stairs or jump on the couch, your dog may have joint pain because of arthritis. But remember, most dogs tend not to whine when they're suffering chronic pain. So, though a dog may cry out when stepped on by accident or whimper after surgery, dogs who suffer from constant pain, as with dental pain, rarely display their discomfort vocally. Though counterintuitive to humans, it's an important point for all dog owners to keep in mind. How to talk to your dog if you're talking to a dog, increase the pitch of your voice and use dog-related words. A new study has shown that when we use a higher pitch when talking to our dogs, it really does help the animals to pay attention more. The research, published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society, showed that talking to dogs using dog-directed speech makes them react and attend more to their human companion than regular speech. 
What is more is that talking this way creates a stronger bond between you and your pet. So if you're someone who talks to your dog as if you're talking to a baby, you're doing it right. On a similar note, studies using MRI scanner have shown that dogs understand a little bit more about human speech than we think. They understand vocabulary regardless of intonation. So dogs will not only listen to the tone of your voice, but your choice of words as well. If you say a mean thing to a dog in a friendly tone, the dog knows. Dogs are incredibly attentive animals. Notice how whenever you talk to your canine, they look at you as if they're listening? You generally don't get that with any other pet like rabbit or cat. Even monkeys don't look at us when we speak. And when dogs tilt their head when we speak, it's them trying to understand what we're saying. Why dogs are scared of thunder Many dogs are afraid of thunder because they do not understand what it is. Dogs hear this loud noise and perceive it as something threatening. It's a survival thing to be afraid of loud noises, to want to find shelter. Interestingly enough, some studies suggest that dogs experience unpleasant tingling sensation from static electricity that is generated during thunderstorms. This is because thunderstorms literally charge the air with electricity, making it easier for static buildup to occur in the coat of your furry friend. The feeling of static electricity tingling through their fur makes your canine feel uncomfortable. This can prompt them to run around the house whimpering, looking for places to hide. Why dogs nuzzle you? You're sitting on the couch watching TV, and all of a sudden, your dog gives you a nuzzle. Nuzzling is when your dog pushes or rubs their nose, face, or head against you. More often than not, dogs touch their nose or face on you when they want your attention. Your four-legged friend probably wants to be pet or spend some time with you. Dogs also nuzzle to show you affection and love. High-Pitched Bark A dog's bark pitches can range from low to high. Lower pitches tend to mark aggression, suspicion, or cautiousness, while higher pitches usually show playfulness, excitement, or eagerness. A high-pitched bark may also indicate a dog is in pain or scared. Likewise, dog play growls will sound higher pitched than aggressive growling. Playful growling is often accompanied by relaxed and happy body language signs such as play bow, bouncy movements, and tail wagging. Your dog is just having fun. Head Pressing If you notice your dog pressing their head against the wall or another firm object, there's a need for your immediate attention. Head pressing is a common sign of some serious problems, such as toxic poisoning or damage to the nervous system. Make an appointment with a vet right away. Now that you know more about your dog and their behaviors, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Are your dogs indecisive, persistently asking to go out and come in? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.